Your next stop in time is the 11th century. You'll land in Vinland. You know it as North America, but no one will call it that for another 500 years. Leif Erikson and his band of Vikings should have departed for Greenland by now, but they're going nowhere fast. Find out what's holding them up. I'm sending Rock Solid to be your good guide. Rock's an expert explorer, and in the wilderness of Vinland, that's just what you'll need. He's got your time cuffs and another Chronopedia chapter. Good luck scouting, Time Scout! <laughs> This must be where the Vikings landed in North America in 1002. But the Vikings should have sailed home by now. We better find out what went wrong. Ah! My ship! A scoundrel's run off with my poor ship! It's almost reached the horizon! I'm all ears. Let's try talking with Leif Erikson. He looks upset. By Thor's hammer, my ship has been pilfered. I must summon my crew for a thing. Leif Erikson's the name. I'm an explorer like my father, Eric the Red. I've led my loyal crew here to Vinland. Leif Erikson was also known as Leif the Lucky, but Luckless might be a better name for him today. It is, Landsman, it is. Another Greenlander, Bjarni Haraldson, passed these shores but never landed. That was an honor he left for me. And now I must return to Greenland. Why to spread tidings of my discovery to the Norse people? And after eight long months here, even a mighty explorer can get homesick. A thieving rogue took our ship. Without it, we'll be marooned in Vinland forever. Alas, no. But I did catch a whiff of something vile in the air. I'll keep an eye on the ship, while you summon my crew for a thing. A thing is an assembly of Norsemen, gathered to make an important group decision. This democratic practice was brought from Iceland to Greenland by my father, Eric the Red. With a fleet of 25 ships, my father, Eric the Red, sailed from Iceland to settle Greenland in 985. Of course, everyone must contribute their opinion before a decision is reached. There'd always be doubt if we left someone out. Vikings were expert sailors and used vessels like that Knorr ship to travel and raid throughout Europe. The Atlantic Ocean is wide and treacherous. Only the sturdiest sailors and boats can traverse it. We Norsemen may be skilled sailors, but we prefer to stay within sight of land. While crossing the wide ocean, we spent several anxious days with nothing in sight but water. Vikings may have been the first Europeans to visit North America, but native tribes like the Inuits had already lived here for centuries. Hurry back! Remember, just talk to me if you need any help, partner. In places where wood and stone were rare, Vikings built houses like these out of grass sod. Good eye! It's a scrap of Carmen's note to her thief. You know, Leif may have named this country Finland because of all the grapes growing here. Good thinking, but those grapes are out of reach.
That tough old stump has quite a weight on its shoulders. That is one big boulder. Solid as a rock, if I do say so myself. Why, hello! Watch out for these tools, because I'm a chiseling fool. If I don't flatten this stone, I, I can't carve my runes. I'm Olaf the rune maker. I record the exploits of my fellow Norsemen and our gods. I'm trying to flatten this rock, whew, so I can carve some Norse runes. <laughs> All letters in the Norse alphabet are made up of straight lines, so that they are easy to carve into stone. Sorry, not until I flattened this rock and finished my runes. You know, real Viking helmets didn't actually have horns. That's just a myth. Horns? On a helmet? Who starts these crazy rumors anyway? Even on a day like this, the weather in Greenland and Iceland is rarely this warm. No wonder the Vikings like to travel. That is one big boulder. Solid as a rock, if I do say so myself. That tough... What's up? Let's talk to all of his Viking crewmen and get them to come to the shore. Well, maybe we need to find something that will help him out. I'll catch you guys a rune. I mean a round. A silver nugget. The Vikings used silver and other precious metals for trading and metalwork. A shard of Carmen's card. <laughs> Our thief can't be too far. Your neck. This must be my shit. By th a th with a why not? A thief. A lot. I'll keep. Hurry back. Remember, just talk to me. Good eye. A silver nugget. A shard of Carmen's.
Hello there. I'm Turker the Southerner. I grew up in a country south of the Norse homeland. I went ape for a grape and fell out of the tree. I couldn't help myself. The delicious grapes around here do not grow in chilly Greenland. Sorry, that water is cold. It's over my head and I can't even tread. I believe I'll stay right here and wait for more palatable conditions. That silver has a fine shine. Those stones are really stepping out, aren't they? Don't tell Leif, but this southern seafarer can't swim! It looks tasty, but it's a bit hard on the teeth. Hello again! Sorry, that water is cold. It's over my head and I can't even tread. I believe I'll stay right here and wait for more palatable con- Those stones are really stepping out, aren't they? What's up? Well, maybe we need to find something he wants. Thanks for dropping in! That silver has a fine shine. No use for precious metal here. Thank you. I prefer to carve my runes in rock. That is one big... Well, that does... Well, that does... I'll catch you guys around. The Viking shield was brightly painted and usually made of wood, with iron in the center and around its rim. That Norse shield can be held by hand or hung from a ship's side during fierce sea battles. That's an ornamental necklace called Thor's hammer. Thor was one of the Viking gods like Woden, Loki, and Frey. Some of the days of the week in our modern calendar are named after Norse gods. That's a battle axe, a weapon well known for its smashing and cutting power. Looks like a handy tool. My axe loves the taste of enemy shields. Feel free to borrow it. Vikings used long, sharp spears as thrusting weapons. Talk about a tough toothpick. Blacksmithing was very important to the Vikings, whose survival in battle depended on the quality of their weapons and armor. Blacksmiths used trusty tongs like these to hold on to sizzling red-hot metal. I get blisters just thinking about it. A sword was a Viking's most precious weapon. All I need is a spot of silver to finish off this ceremonial blade. Welcome, but stand back. This sword is white hot. I'm Ivor the Blacksmith. 
I make tools, weapons, and armor for the Norse community. Iron mostly. For a blacksmith, iron is as good as gold. I'm heating a braid of iron in my forge, then hammering it into a sword. It will be a beautiful piece, but I need a little silver to finish it off. I'm afraid I can't leave until I've polished off this sword with some fine silver. A well-crafted sword deserves to gleam like a dragon's eye. Why, the sword is a Norseman's most valued weapon. We even give our swords dramatic names like Battle Fire or Dragon Bite. But I can't name this new sword until I have some silver. A nugget of pure silver! Thank you! Now I can finish my sword! That's the last piece of Garmin's note. Let's decode her tattered text. Hurry! Remember, just talk to me if you need any help, partner. Farewell to Thanks for Put your show <laughs> You know a rock on a rock A shard. Good. A new. That's the luck. Now that the no. Welcome to. I've had we now. Now, where? As I we should, we've been. Let's. Hmm. What? A but lay. Hmm. All no fray is the. Frey is the Norse god of sunshine and rain. What day comes before Frey's day? We say Thor's day. That's right. But you might have been lucky, like me. I'm going to pose you one more question. Woden, the god of war, is the greatest of the Norse gods. What day comes before Woden's day? We say, Tears Day. Right again. You must be Norsemen after all. We'd be honored if you'd vote in the thing. Now that the choices are clear, let's vote and decide what to do. All who prefer to remain in Vinland, show your cowardly mitts. And let no one say this thing is rigged. Now, all those noble souls who would prefer to reclaim our ship and return in glory to Greenland, please raise your loyal hands. Well done! The issue is decided. Prepare the landing boat for battle! <laughs> Great job! With our help, the Vikings have reclaimed their stolen ship. The Vikings are ready to set sail, but we still need to catch a stowaway.
Take a look at Carmen's note and remember the time cuffs. This chest along the left edge of the ship is full of tunics, cloaks, furs, and other clothing. Vikings used tarred rope to seal the seams between a ship's wooden planks. A little tacky, maybe, but effective. Knorr ships like this one generally used about 20 oars, but big long ships built for war had as many as 80. Talk about having a lot of pull. The time cuffs are ready and waiting, Inspector. Nope, no thief there. 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 Nope. No thief there. Nope, no thief there. Nope, no thief there. This chest on the right hand side of the ship is full of supplies. Nope, no thief there. Of course! Our thieving rascal is hiding behind the steerboard to starboard. <laughs> Come on, Baron. We've got a nice bear cell ready for you at Acme Headquarters. You may have caught me, but you'll never wipe away the Baron's gleaming grin. Looking good, Time Scout. I must say, those Vikings have nothing on you in the toughness department. Oh, thanks, Rock. <laughs> you restored Viking history, and thanks to you, Leif Erikson will make it back to Europe to spread the word about the New World. Well, Time Scout, you're quite an opponent. You apprehended the Baron, but there's no way you'll foil my next foray. It's already underway. Ta-ta. Sounds like the time crime wave is continuing. There's another history mystery to be solved straight ahead. Are you ready to take on the case? 